Okay. So how are we going, YouTube? Um, I've done a video earlier showcasing a train. Now, it started off as literally the cart. So I'm in creative on a I'm on a server and I'm creative. Um, you don't have to be in creative to do it. There's nothing that's in creative that isn't in survival that you can or can't do for this. But you do. I cannot remember whether they're actual also oh, furniture. Uh, it's decorative. Whether they're actual. Um, I can't remember whether they're DLCs or they're standard. I think they're standard with the game. But it was that. It's like, but I don't want to place this. I want to better make it so that I can, you know, do shit in the back or whatever. So it's like, I've looked at it and gone, okay, how can I build that? And that's how I come up with the design. Uh, so I'll remove that. That is the evolved version. But I'll just quickly show you the tricks that I used to build it. Um, like you say, you want to make that sandstone. First thing you're going to need is foundation to set up the the main part, the the beginning support. Um, now, depending on your your server's um, building structural integrity thing, then how big you can make it. So, or how many pillars you need. Technically, if it's got infinite stability, so you only need one foundation. You can use one foundation, uh, one pillar, and the rest can be floating. But, foundation, let's raise it up about knee height, so it doesn't really matter, i take a guess, but there somewhere. That's the height we want the carriage to be. It's a little bit higher than I'd like it, but yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to grab ourselves a ceiling piece, and then from the ceiling piece we're going to grab a pillar, place the pillar underneath, get rid of that one, another foundation. Now, this is where the stability thing comes in, if you want to go make a bus, make it 10 long, if there's, if the um, server's stability thing is set to zero, then you can use it all off, off the one, one pillar, but for safety, I always do the two. Now, for that one there, i done a cabin, but when I first started creating it, all I literally done was grab that, then I come in and I grabbed that, 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 so fences all the way around, and then I've come into the decorative section and grabbed the cart wheel which is there and then I've just gone, okay let's place one about there to hide the pillar and about there to hide the pillar and obviously do the other side as well and there you go, there's the buggy and if you want to put something at the front to indicate the, the struts you could but that there is pretty much the buggy and it's like, okay, that's cool so if you just want to do that, well, that's how you do it. Let's let's put them on the other side too, just so it looks right. Yeah. There. So you got a buggy. Now you, it's a full found. It's a normal foundation. It's all so whatever you can place on a foundation or a ceiling piece can be placed on here. The little cart is decorative. So that these ones they're decorative. So they can be put on slopes and stuff like that. Uh, if I do that, as you can see, it'll go on a slope. But the back of it isn't quite as big as this, if I bring it up here. Not quite. Almost, but not quite. And then I've gone, okay, if I can do that, just say I want to make the, the one like over there, which is just the ca um, a closed-in carriage here, I can literally get rid of these here. And because it's using the... Um, the ceiling pieces, unlike using this, where you can't build off it, like if I place this, and just say I want to place, now I want to place, uh, let's grab that, I want to put something on there, I can't because it, it doesn't have the snap points, but because this is the snap points, I can now literally, like if I want to make it a, we'll use these ones, if I want to go like, That one first, let's move him out to here. Okay, now we can put him back. So you're gonna have the closed in bit like that, jump onto the back. Uh, these walls are 
add-ons for the sandstone but any walls will do and then I can go okay put a roof on it boom grab a door say that one storage buggy but then I've got oh, but <laughs> when I came to that it's like oh hang on that kind of looks like a bonnet that could be a tractor or something it's like how would you get that to be like an engine there's no engines in the game so you can't really do anything so I've gone okay what about if I use the chimneys which are uh, add-ons for the sandstone um, so you can't quite do this part if you don't have it but as you can see they can be placed on the side or on the top or whatever and then you can grab that oh look it's got an engine so I've gone okay just say so you want this not to be a tray, you want it to be an engine bay, like a bonnet. To do that, all you've got to do is change that ceiling piece to a hatch. Uh, let's get rid of this one, let me yeah. change it to a hatch. And as you can see, like the, the foundations, uh, the pillars, so we're going to get rid of the pillar. And using the step up technique, which I'll show you right now. Uh, if I grab a wall, any wall, doesn't matter the wall, it has a snap point at the top, at the bottom, and either side, as well as one at about the point of the cursor. So if I now grab a foundation, I'll show you, it snaps to there, but then if I look up a bit, it snaps to there. That's what I call the step up. So I can now place that there like that, and remove that. Now this here is still got the um, the uh, the hatch surround thingy but what we're going to do is grab a separate ceiling piece and attach it to the foundation I must get rid of this door, hang on doors, it has the issue with snap it to there so we've got that tiny little gap now if I grab a pillar which is under here and try to snap it to that ceiling piece. As you can see, it snaps to the ceiling piece and not the hatch. I can now get rid of this. Boom, it's at the height. Now to place the fences back, just remove the uh, ceiling piece, get the fences. You can now go boom. Yeah. Okay, it has an issue with the wheel sometimes. Move the wheel out the way. There. Yeah, it's not going to do on this side either. there. Let's put... actually no, no, let's not put them back yet. Then we can grab a ceiling, which is that piece. Boom. And now if we come up, you can see it's snapping to that point there. Now obviously we need the, that back there, so let's place it before we do it. Ceiling. It doesn't matter if it's right here. That. And then we can come down here, we can grab these wheels and put these wheels back on. And a cool trick with this is, if you want it to look like it's about to turn, or it's parked, turned, just angle it. Just go like, say there. Do the same with this wheel. Just make sure I rotate it the same way, so it's got to go more about, say there. So now it's like it's got a little tractor with an engine bay with the wheels that are turnable and all that and it, it's all it's all good um, I don't like them turn but you can do turn let's see that and the only reason I do the pillars instead of a full, down, full foundation is so that it hides if I'm looking from directly from let's get rid of this cart looking directly from the side it looks all oh, it looks like it's actually on the wheels and I thought that is cool now obviously with this you'd put a door on it so you can get in there uh, like in this case here if I wanted to go uh, let's say let's say those ones will go there 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 let's grab the door on the back Then let's grab the chimney. And let's see if we can get it to 
Got the back for us. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. Nice. It's not rotating the right direction. When I have issues like this, what I do is I put a wall in, uh, something that I can replace things. So I, the walls and the doors are replaceable. You can, you don't have to pull them down and then place that. Now we don't want it in the middle. We want it off to the side. So window will be better, won't it? Let's go window. Window. Grab that chimney piece, and that should snap if it's going to be nice. It's not going to. Is it? There it is. Boom on the back. Now let's rotate the wrong way. God damn it. I suppose there it looks alright, eh? Yeah, there it looks fine. Wow, so it's going to snap correctly now, isn't it? Nope, that's still incorrect. Uh, where'd that go? Inside. Yay. Yeah, that'll... That's fine. We'll grab the top parts. Boom, boom. And if it will go up there, let's turn that back to a door. And just say we want a that kind of door, we can go boom. If we're keen, staircase or something on the back. There's a little in brackets tractor. And you can get in here. And you can store stuff on that. It's it's just a ceiling piece, so there's nothing stopping you from putting build uh, putting stuff on here like uh, for example, um, crate, crate, go on there. Now, obviously, the more building pieces you've got, like these ones here, obviously battle pass ones, DLCs, um, all that sort of stuff. So, depending on the building pieces you've got, black ice, insulated wood. Katan, Yamatai, all the ones that came out back when the game was good. Um, they can be interchanged. Just like if you want to put a Namidian roof on it or a black ice roof on it, like I showed you the earlier one, the black ice train, it's all interchangeable. So, like, and then if obviously if you want to put a, a carriage behind, I've done exactly like I did with this bottom part. So we'll grab a ceiling piece, boom. Like that. Then we can grab a pillar. We can get rid of this one. Then we can grab these. Let's grab a door. Grab the wheels. There's your train. Put the roof on it. As many carriages as you like. Uh, the styles, like style it how you like. Um, I haven't figured out a way, as I said in the other video, to get this to go a halfway, to go to about that distance, to be exactly half a foundation. But you could probably sit there and try and place it manually and work that out. Um, the technique, there is a technique you can use to get the using the pillars and stuff like that to get these to be lined up exactly like there and then you space it with a like a wall or whatever to you know get exactly the spacing you want but if you want to try that technique to get the spacing right do that technique um, me personally you can do that grab your pillar figure out where roughly what halfway is so it's about there you can get rid of that, get rid of that, and you know to move this piece in line with where this is. Just move it up forward. You can even put them on an angle, you don't have to have them lined up. Um, as long as they're not snapping to each other. Um, if you want them to be exactly correct and to be turning, instead of just using a square one, when you join them together, get yourself a wedge one, boom, then grab these here. Um, uh, actually, let's put this one down so you can see it. So 
So you put that, then you go there, there, and then rinse and repeat with the, the pillars, uh, walls. Uh, it's probably not going to stick up there because of the chimney. I'll have to remove the chimney to get it to work. Okay, let's remove the chimney for now. This. Get that. Looks like it's turned. Plonk the wheels on it. There you go. Um, so, I hope this little in brackets tutorial helped people making like, as you can see my one over here, I've got the Namidian roof on it, Namidian floors, and I've got the, the DLC sandstone extra pieces for around it. But, customization endless, or not endless, but as endless as the game allows you with the building pieces that's in it. Um, layouts, uh, all that sort of stuff. And I might just show you a quick little trick while I'm in here. No, no. That one. And that one. About how to get a two wide boat in the water that is a. Because two is an even number. If you're doing. People who like to make boats. Normally, what you do is you get the height of your boat. No, that's not right. My character. Got Thank you. Come out a bit, say to that. That's the height you want the boat. You'd start building your boat, but you either go one wide, or you go three wide. And then, if you want the hull, you'd grab a upside down uh, ceiling piece. So you'd rotate like that, rotate like that, and then from the, the sides, it's the hull. But if you only want the two wide, how do you do that? So, what I'd do. Uh, can I thank you? Instead of using the pillars, use the fence foundations. Let's just raise him to say this. There's the height we want, so let's go out here until we get to a depth. That one. Actually, you can stay there for right now. Actually, no, it can go. So there's our thing. So we want the boat too long, just say. Let's grab ceiling pieces and just go like this. Then we can grab the upside down uh, them's, put them at the ends or whatever. And then we can also grab the uh, where are we the uh, them ones and round off the ends um, to get the the top pieces. So you can place the floors, all you have to do is go there, there, grab a, there, like that, do the same on the other side, again this all depends on the service stability options, let's turn that around the correct way, like that, then we can grab a ceiling, uh, ceiling pieces, and they would shoot it. Oh, oh, get rid of that first. Because it won't let you put it there if the ceilings are there. You have to do the ceilings second. So go like that. Then you can grab the ceilings, place them back in there. And then you can get rid of all this. Uh, that, and that. Same on this side. Oh, look. A nice little two wide boat. Now obviously you don't need the walls here. You can put fences, whatever you want to put there. Uh, let's just say fences. A little two wide boat. So if you want to cap it off, you could grab the, the rounded ends. That on either end. Do the same with the ceilings over here. I grab the uh, where are we? Those ones. Same them like that. Let's get rid of that. Hey, Funcom, this pulling your weapon out when you dive underwater is getting annoying. Okay. 
You will always have those, but from the shore, a little too wide boat. So, I've sh showed you how to make the train, and a little boat. So I'm out here, stay safe, hope this helped, I'll catch you all next time.